I'm with Lenders Express, been with them almost 30 years, and we're just going to do a pre-trip inspection on how important it is to have an inspection, why you inspect a truck, and then afterwards how you feel about it, because there's so many things you can go through while you're driving down the road. Once you inspect your truck, your mind is clear now. Okay, we're fixing to pop the hood. We want to unlatch the hood latch so we can check the oil, check your belt. Make sure they're tight, make sure they're open properly, and make sure that they're not fraying. Some of these serpentine belts, the wider they are, they'll start fraying. You can see that there's threads hanging off of it, and then it's time to change them. But this way, when you got your hood open, you can check your components, make sure everything looked good. Okay, now that I have the hood open, I check the belts on the other side. Make sure nothing was leaking. We're checking the oil, make sure you got oil. We'll make sure you got proper oil in there and enough oil, and the oil looks clean. And you don't want to blow up a motor like this. When you check, make sure everything looks good. There's nothing hanging off the truck. Nothing leaking, and it looks good. Okay, now we're closing the hood. We're done underneath. Most important thing is you got a latch on each side. You'll want to cover each latch. You don't want the hood coming open on you at 65 mile an hour. That wouldn't be good. Two of the most important things on your inspection is your fire extinguisher and your safety triangles. You want your fire extinguisher handy at any moment because it could save someone's life. So normally it's right inside the door here. Okay, it's also important to have your hazard triangles. They've got to be easy to get to because you could use them at, need them at any moment. And all they are is reflective triangles. And you put them out on the highway behind you so someone knows you're stopped and you need help. Okay, now we're going to start the truck. Make sure the air is built up to 125 pounds. That's important. Turn your lights on, turn your four ways on. Okay, now we're going to do a walk around. You want to check your lights, make sure your tires are up. The best way to do that without an air gauge is to hit them with a hammer, but the tread also is important. You can see these are almost brand new tires, so we're good. So you check your tires here, and then you get underneath, and you want to check and inspect your brakes, inspect all your hangers, make sure everything's good. Also, it's important to always lock your trailer, whether it's sealed or not. Always have a padlock on here, whether you're loaded or not. You just never know when someone wants to get up in your trailer. Steal what you have up in there, low lock, or even throwing a body up in there. You're going halfway across the country, finally realizing you got a body up in your trailer, and then where are you? 